And welcome back to Politics Unplugged. In the wake of Roe versus Wade being overturned, a controversial turn by Planned Parenthood of Arizona. They are refusing to endorse political candidates who take contributions from law enforcement groups. And here to talk about that decision is uh, Jessica Bain with uh, Axios in Phoenix. Thank you very much to explain this. Uh, you know, first of all, just take us through Planned Parenthood's thinking uh, based on your reporting. What, what were they thinking? How did this all start and come about? Well, in 2020, the uh, Planned Parenthood's advocacy arm here in Arizona decided that they would ask candidates who received endorsements to not accept support from police unions or law enforcement agencies. Um, it didn't start until this year that it became a prerequisite for endorsements. And now, um, you know, it's becoming a little controversial because some candidates that were previously endorsed by Planned Parenthood who are pro-choice are not receiving those endorsements because of um, possible police support and other uh, qualities. So in the two years uh, that since they first asked them to do this, this is maybe just taking a more assertive, aggressive role to get them to do what they want, correct? Right. And, you know, what's kind of interesting about that is, um, you know, the, the candidate questionnaire that we reviewed that's in our reporting uh, specifically talks about taking donations or receiving support. Um, but what we discovered with our reporting was that there was a candidate, Lauren Kuby in mm -hmm. Tempe, who's running for um, a corporation commission, who uh, had been endorsed, so had filled out that questionnaire, uh, assumingly to you know, their satisfaction, um, but then lost that endorsement when she voted on the city budget, which included money for police. Yeah, and it was interesting because your report uh, pointed out that they had actually cut some money uh, for that budget, but they still, the reason why Planned Parenthood rescinded that endorsement is because they created uh, like nine, ten new, uh, new, new po police officer positions for the city. Is that correct? Right. So what's interesting is that um, some of the Planned Parenthood uh, board members had tweeted, like, we're not asking candidates to defund the police or anything like that, just reject the financial support. But in this case, you know, Lauren voted for uh, a budget that included money for police and then lost her endorsement. And I think it's important too, it's not one person making this decision for Planned Parenthood, it's an entire group. Who are these people and what was their thought process behind it? Is this something like, um, you know, I've heard maybe people are saying, like, you know, why would we support a group who could be enforcing these abortion restrictions? Right. And unfortunately, Planned Parenthood Advocates of Arizona didn't get back to me with some of my more specific mm -hmm. questions. But what I can tell you from uh, perusing their social media um, is that, yeah, that that same point has been made that um, police are going to be the ones enforcing abortion rights and that they are abortion laws. And I think there is some concern that or some discussion that. Um, Planned Parenthood should be about more than just saying I'm pro-choice, but their belief is that there is so much more to reproductive justice than just supporting abortion rights. Now, you know, the big question now is what's been the reaction from these politicians? Mostly, to be honest, it's, they're Democrats. Mm -hmm. um, is there any blowback by this, any criticism? Let's start there. Yeah, so, I mean, within hours of the report publishing, there were prominent Republicans, the Republican Governors Association, sending out notes criticizing candidates who've received endorsements, people like Katie Hobbs or Chris Mays, um, and saying that by being endorsed by Planned Parenthood, then they are essentially anti-police. Um, and so it's kind of creating this interesting situation where those candidates are going to be forced to answer a lot of questions in the next several months about their law enforcement position. And it'll be interesting to see what happens from there. And it, any, any other, it, what are you hearing in terms of like, this is a good thing for this? I mean, you know, are you hearing this from activists or are there politicians out there saying, finally, they're, they're, they're taking a more aggressive step? Yeah, I mean, there's some politicians who've been endorsed by Planned Parenthood, some state lawmakers who are very supportive of this. There are a lot of um, people in the community that are glad that Planned Parenthood is moving beyond just being pro-choice. Um, and then there's the other side of people saying, you know, we just lost Roe v. Wade. Maybe our attention should be on um you know, abortion rights exclusively. And so that's kind of the, that's the rub. And in, 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 fi in final question here, maybe take us through what you're hearing about the politics of all this thing. Is there people worrying about unintended consequences, about this, you know, you know what, what's the downside or what's the upside, political, just a strict political angle on that? 
Yeah, I mean, politically, you know, if you look at polling, um, you know, national polling shows that most Americans support either keeping police budgets where they're at or increasing them. And also most Americans support abortion rights. And so uh, the question is, do you have to pick one or the other? And what's the ramification going to be here locally? Um, and, and how will voters decide to, to vote? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you can see the Republicans going back to 2020. They made a lot of uh, political hay out of the uh, defund the police movement and all that kind of stuff. So I think exactly. maybe the, 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 some might say the Democrats or Planned Parenthood could be setting the party up uh, uh, for something similar like that. But uh, Jessica, thank you very much for joining us here and breaking of all of that down for us. And uh, we'll see you back here on the show soon, I'm sure.